Hi and welcome to this quick tutorial on using the custom image material in MakeTile to easily make your own materials out of height maps. A height map is just a grayscale image like this, where black represents the lowest point in 3D space, uh, white the highest point, and the shades of grey, the gradations in between. You can either create these height maps yourself using Blender, Substance Designer, Photoshop, Materialize, which is a free program for turning ordinary in images into PBR textures, uh, that link in the description, or you can download them from lots of places for free. Okay, let's get started. The first thing we're going to need is obviously a height map. So there's several places you can download these from. I'll put some links in the description. But my favorite for make tile purposes is cc0textures.com which is going on for a thousand different uh, PBR textures now, all of which are free and they're licensed as CC0, so you can do whatever you want with them. The PBR textures you can download from CC0 textures uh, consist of several images. So you have a colour map, a normal map, a metallic, a roughness, uh, sometimes an ambient occlusion, uh, sometimes other maps, and you have the height map or the displacement map. It's can be called either. Occasionally uh, you might want to use the ambient occlusion map instead. But all of these are just grayscale textures. So while well, having looked through cc0textures.com earlier I came across this which is absolutely amazing for our purposes and it has a nice high-res 4k version uh, that's going to come in really useful for what we want to do. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a wall and a floor tile. Uh, and I'm going to use the custom image material and I'm going to switch the renderer over to Eevee as I'm going to be doing a bit of fiddling about and I want everything to update really quickly. I'm also going to start by creating a copy of the custom image material and uh, switch my tiles to use that material rather than the original and this way uh, if I sort of want to go back to my original custom image material which is blank and has all the sort of default settings um, I don't need to restart Blender to get it back so I won't have overwritten it in this sort of file. Okay. Currently both tiles are blank uh, because we don't have an image selected. So I'm going to select my custom image material, go down to the material options, click on open and select the displacement texture uh, that we downloaded earlier. So while this is displaying OK on our floor tile, uh, it's not on the wall because of the default projection mapping we're using. Um, so I'll switch this over to triplanar for now, which will just show it on the wall and the floor tile. Uh, if you want to know a bit more about how the material mapping options work in Make Tile, um, have a look at my intro to materials video. OK, so this looks a bit rubbish at the moment, um, but what I want to do is increase the size of the image. And in Blenderland, this means I need to reduce the scale in my material options. So suddenly we've got something which looks pretty interesting. It looks sort of very sci-fi. So let's see what happens when I make this 3D. Just bump the number of subdivisions up a bit. And that looks pretty good straight off. So I'm going to return to preview uh, and then I'm going to mess about slightly with the texture. Um, because this is a 4K texture uh, and because we've scaled it up, we can take a sample from different bits of the texture by moving uh, the location uh, in the material options. Um, that will allow us to generate a series of unique tiles uh, from this one texture. As you can see here, the same bit of texture is uh, displaying on the wall and the floor tile, um, but just like with the other materials, uh, the custom image material has a randomize option, which in this case picks a random location on the texture. So if you want to generate uh, random variants, then when you come to export your tile, you can just come down here, uh, make sure randomize is selected and bump the number of variants up from one. So if you want more control and to uh, select exactly which bit of uh, the texture you're using for each tile, uh, then the easiest way to do that is to create a load of copies of the material on one tile. Okay, uh, then immediately just delete them off that individual tile. Um, they'll still, the copies will still be there in the background. And then if we go to another of our tile, uh, we can switch the material to the copy and then we can mess about with the location on that copy of the material. So cool. I mean, we've got some nice sci-fi tiles here, um, you know, very easily. 
So now I want to show you a uh, wooden plank material um, and how to tweak a couple of settings on it to get it to display properly. And you'll find that you need to do this with quite a few of the um, different materials you can download. So this is a planks texture, for, again from CC0 Textures, and it looks pretty cool. Uh, but when I make it 3D, uh, something a bit odd is happening. So even with lots of subdivisions, uh, we've lost all the detail on the top. And if I switch back to preview mode uh, and go into cycles, so we get a preview of what it should look like, we'll see it's projecting more than we want it to. So if we go down to the materials settings and turn the strength down so it looks correct in cycles mode, and then hit make 3D, you'll see it now displays correctly. So if you're ha having issues, um, it's always worth trying to fix them in the Cycles Material Preview first, using the Strength and also the Brightness and the Contrast uh, sliders at the bottom before hitting Make 3D. OK, so that's about it for this video. Uh, if you want to keep up to date with MakeTile, then please subscribe. Um, I now also have a Facebook page uh, where I'll be posting updates as well, uh, so please uh, follow me there. Um, MakeTile is still very much an alpha, uh, so if you do find something that is broken um, or want to see a feature implemented, uh, please let me know. Okay, bye for now.